Emacs and uh, GNU Emacs to be precise is one of the oldest pieces of software in the world almost 41 years old that's still been actively used and maintained by the pretty big community of hackers and as a matter of fact the last commit into the master branch was less than 10 hours ago and if you go to the uh, commits history you can see how like nine hours ago nine nine ten it's very active i think the main contributing factor to why that's the case is because Emacs is being the most customizable piece of software in the world. I don't even think it's one of, I think it's the most customizable and programmable piece of software in the world, like period, like ever. Every action you do in this text editor executes some kind of a Lisp function. I move my cursor around, Lisp does it. I click my mouse, Lisp does it. I scroll my mouse wheel, Lisp does it. And uh, as a matter of fact, everything here is some sort of a Lisp function. The point is that Emacs doesn't have any sort of special extension or plugin API you have to go through in order to extend the editor. No, you have full access to the entire space of all available Lisp functions and symbols that are completely at your full disposal. On top of that, Emacs also is the most self-aware piece of software in the world. And what I mean by that, let's say I want to get a help on some kind of a key binding. Uh, if we go to some other text editor, let's say uh, Vim, and I press help and you know J and press enter. Yeah, sure, I mean, it tells me that J and down are an amount of lines downward. But look at this. The text documentation is called motion.txt. That's right, this is a static text file, which means if I happen to remap J button, this manual is not correct anymore. Let's compare it to Emacs. So yeah, let's quit that. And uh, in Emacs, to know what the, the key does, you press Control H and then K. And it prompts you to describe the following key, and I just press J. And J runs the command evil next line found in evil motion state map. So I am actually using a Vim plugin for Emacs, and this is why J for me it moves the cursor down, right? Evil next line. But if I uh, look at this, it says N, which is normal state, it's kind of like normal mode in Vim. So, and if I disable it, so now it's called E Emacs state. So now if I press J, I just insert J symbol uh, verbatim. And uh, if I press Control H and K again, and I press J, now J runs the command self insert. So this is how crazy we're talking. And even crazier is, is that uh, you not only get the documentation for every action you, are, you, you can do, you can even check the source code of this action. So for example, J runs evil next line and I can go to the definition of evil next line and I can literally see its Lisp source code and I can descend as deep as I can. So just take a look at this. I can go to evil line move here, which is, I mean, it's rather, it looks pretty heavy, right? And so uh, somewhere down below here, you can find an actual next line that it invokes. And it is, oh yeah, here, it is a line move. So you go to the line move. Somewhere down below there is line move one that you can go to. <laughs> this is the guts of next line and previous line. And you can go even deeper towards the, uh, forward line and if you check the documentation on this one on forward line you can see that forward line is an interactive primitive function that's defined someone in c code emacs has like a little core of the editor that's written in c and everything around it is lisp and some lisp functions are actually implemented in c uh mostly for speed but emacs self-awareness doesn't actually stop here you can literally go click on it and you would go into this cmds.c file and you can inspect the source code of the primitive 
uh, Lisp function that is all written in C. Just take a look at it. This is straight up C code, honest to go, GNU formatted, like the, the worst possible uh, code formatting you can imagine, by the way. But yeah, this is how deep we can go. And uh, no other piece of software can do that. And uh, in my opinion, this is why 40 years later, Emacs still has such a big audience and gains a lot of interests for from uh, programmers uh, from all over the world. Uh, it has downsides though. The main downside is that it's way too addictive. If you get sucked into it, there is literally no escape. And Emacs on its own is not that good of a text editor. It's pretty old and dated. But if you get a taste of this, if you, you know, get this kind of satisfaction that you can customize literally everything to your exact liking and do something exactly how you want it, and no other text editor, no other power tool can give you that, there is just no going back. I've been trying to move off of Emacs for years now, and every other option just frustrates me and I have to go back even though I really have to escape. At this point I'm just thinking that maybe I just have to write my own. Like This is how dire the situation is. So my advice to anyone, never try Emacs because as soon as you do, as soon as you uh, get this, you know, get this uh, feeling, there is no going back. Believe me, I know a lot of people like me, we are all very sad and miserable. <laughs> I think the only other text editor or any other piece of software that came close to Emacs in terms of being programmable and customizable is actually a four coder editor, believe it or not. And the goal of four coder is to maximize the power and ease of customization. And guess what? It is based loosely on Emacs. So there you go.